Hi everyone, I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. We are here again kicking off and continuing on with the X-Ray team that you guys voted for on a poll a week or so ago on the YouTube channel. So just to recap the team before we get into the episode, we've got the Rayquaza, which is going to be the Mega Rayquaza, the Xerneas, the Landorus, the Therian, it's got the Z-Move there, the Tapu Fini, we've got a Wikiberry, the Incineroar, and the Serena. So the team's been incredible so far. We've had some really good games. If you've missed yesterday's game in particular, I would definitely go back and check that episode out. We had some amazing games versus some really highly rated Japanese players, and uh, we managed to do all right against them. So go check that out before coming into the Today's episode and I will guarantee you, you will not regret going and doing that but thank you so much for all the support as well guys throughout this series so far we've got a lot of new members to the channel as well so a massive shout out to all the new subscribers and all of our old ones we've got a really great community here in the channel and we are growing this flinch squad stronger and stronger every day so it's great to have you here and I hope we can continue to produce great content for you going forward so without further ado let's get the music on let's hop into today's episode and get some more incredible games going forward I really do like this call and um, it is a, a popular one that you're gonna see x-ray but it is so strong when you can you know even in games where we started off a little bit iffy at the start of the week but we managed to get through them pretty well and uh, just continuing to do that with the team it's shown its real strength so we've got our first opponent of the episode let's hop straight so we've got our first opponent and they are running a team of Groudon, Xerneas, Salamence, Incineroar, Amoongus and Tapu Fini. So it is going to be that very common uh, Zerndon team that we're seeing played at the minute. It's going to be difficult to break down. You know, you're going to have the Intimidate support there from the Salamence and the Incineroar. Tailwind support from that Mega Salamence. It's on the team here. And then you've got Icy Wind support, Nature's Madness support from the Tapu Fini. And then that Amoongus as well. It's going to be a bit of a pain to deal with, especially for our more floaty friends that we've got access to on our side of the field with that Rayquaza and the Landorus. But I do feel like we've got the tools to beat this team. we just got to approach it in the right way. Right, I think Tapu Fini is very important for us. Um, but if we get our Xerneia set up early doors, it makes things very easy for us, doesn't it? Um, being able to cut through things, but we've got to be careful for the Amoongus and the Tapu Fini, and maybe we want to leave Xerneia to the late game, at least, to set those sort of things up. I'm going to lead off pretty passive, Incineroar, Tapu Fini here. I'm going to bring Ray and Xerneas in the back and then we'll lock in with those I think and get underway just I just realized as well I didn't start off the episode with our rating as well um so I think we've got six games we've played with six zero at the minute so hopefully we can continue that on today um <clears throat> but this one's not going to be easy this is a uh, probably one of the strongest calls that we've got access to in the ultra series so it's going to be a good test for us to go into today see what we can learn about this core, especially playing against it, and what we can do to help try and shut it down. So we're going to see the Salamence and the Xerneas come up for my opponent. Get the Intimidate off with the Salamence onto, more importantly, our Incineroar, the physical attacker on our side of the field. Not so much about the, the Tapu Fini, which now gets its Fairy Terrain up. A Misty Terrain, Fairy Terrain. I wish it was called Fairy Terrain. It should be called Fairy Terrain. But it would be a little bit too biased for all the Tapus getting all the favour there. So the Xerneas now in a position to kind of get set up with that, that Geomancy. But if we if we don't, the problem is if we don't um, check the Xerneas here uh, with a fake out, it could set up the, the Geomancy. The one thing that I would be a little bit scared of potentially would be the Groudon switching in on that slot and the Salamence going for a Tailwind. Um, I'm going to fake out the Xerneas and I'm going to Icy Wind the Salamence. The Salamence just protecting here. Xerneas, do you protect? No. I'm going to try and get a cheeky Geomancy up, will we? But uh, I'm just denying that because I don't. that's the one thing we don't want to allow to get set up. Once that thing gets set up, it makes life so much harder for us. Do get the icy wind off. It's not really going to help us out going into this following turn, especially if we want to get um, the haze working. But we can totally deny any speed boosts, which does help us later in the game. Um, and we can snarl now with our Incineroar. We're going to see the Simon's Mega Evolve finally. Going to burst out of that Mega L egg and uh, show its true colours. A hyper voice coming out. Okay. Should take pretty comfortably. There's another Icy Wind. 
And the snarl. Oh, do nice damage to that Salamence. Don't we? Um, the snarl's going to be useful here just to kind of keep this Geomancy in check. There's nothing we can really do at the minute because of that icy wind that we got turn one to. Um, to didn't, you know, to lower that speed, it makes the Xerneas in a better position going into this next turn. I've got to be careful about a double edge from that Salamence and then a double up from the, uh, the Xerneas, but I think the Snarl really helps us out here. We do hit both targets, which is very, very useful. Um, and if we can get another Haze off, potentially, um, we can. Uh, another icy wind off we can then here's the next turn so I'm gonna just go for the u-turn into the Xerneas and I'm gonna go for another icy wind here um, the thing with Tapu Fini is what's really good about this in this matchup is we've got the scald so we've got access to oh Xerneas no okay that's not so good because if we take a double edge oh, okay it's going tailwind just making sure and this is the worst case scenario for us here because we'll take the Salamence down and then it opens the door for the Groudon to come in. As I was just saying, one of the things that was nice about Tapu Fini in this team was having access to that Skull that we could utilize against the Groudon. Now with the... Oh, we've not really got a good switch in there to the Xerneas. Hmm. I mean, we can bring in Rayquaza. It's not really ideal. But we can't utilize our hairs. Uh, no protect on our side of the field. So my opponents really set them up, themselves up really well here. And we've just kind of walked right into this trap. And it's just down to not thinking about all of the different options that could have happened. And what we could get punished by the most. Um, we could hope Precipice Blades misses the Incineroar. And we're hoping now. Um, and I think the other thing we could potentially do is go... Go here. We have to go here and hope that we can take. Well, we take a dazzling gleam with Finny. They should just proc our berry. Oh, we're just out of berry range with both. Oh, Finny does avoid the precipice blades, which gives us a little bit of a lifeline. So we will be able to deny these these geomancy boosts. Um, get the haze up finally, but we get pretty lucky there. We get pretty lucky. Losing Sinner on the process, which is never good. Now we need to stall out this this Geomancy. Uh, this Tailwind, sorry. Hmm. <sighs> okay, let's bring in Azernius. I don't think we've got enough in the tank to get a, a Geomancy up right now. Um, and we might have to sack. Just what does this Xerneas do? Because if we could get an icy wind off here, it would be massively helpful for us. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try and get an icy wind off, and see if we can somehow pull this one back. It's not looking too good for us though. There's a the moonblast into there. Precipice blades. So Finny avoid again. Not this time. Grad on on point here. We'll take the Finny down. And we do lose it. Okay. So one more turn of Tailwind left. we still got a Sash on our Rayquaza. Um. And what's my opponent's last Pokemon after the Grad on? That's the question. Because it could potentially... Sword Stance here and Geomancy. And we're going to get one off. Or we could potentially Geomancy. Because if we see a Dazzling Gleam Precipice Blades, there's a good chance that we might be able to take that. I'm going to. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. Because Precipice Blades can miss. And I think you've got to Dazzle if you're the opposing Xerneas here. Or even Moonblast the Rayquaza. No, it's going for us. Okay, so making sure that we do get this. Yeah. So we need Precipice to miss here more than anything. <laughs> and all credit to my opponent. But 
Oh my gosh, Xerneas takes the fire punch thanks to the airlock. Wow, okay. When things all look, and I was about to give all, all the credit in the world to my opponent, you know, going for the fire punch there is the most sensible thing to do. Uh, but the airlock really coming in clutch for us, making sure that fire punch doesn't take us down. Now, <clears throat> what do we do? Does, does a Dazzling Gleam take down the Xerneas? Probably not. And it will depend on what my opponent's last Pokemon is. What's it going to be? Could be the Amoongus. It could be the Incineroar, though. And it definitely could be the Tapu Fini. Um, now, I think what we'll do is protect Xerneas. And we'll go Mega Rayquaza and Dragon Ascent, the opposing Xerneas here. Okay. This is it. The Dragon Ascent should get the Xerneas from this range. We protect. And then we give ourselves a chance against the last two. Okay. Yeah, we've got to make sure. We've got to get the KO here. We can't afford not to. Come on, Ray. Let's do this for the team. Do this for me. We get it. We get it. Get it. Okay, that's great. That's great. And hopefully we see Prespus Blades. Even a five punch here, I don't really care about. Nah, it's into Xerneas. Okay, that's fine. Okay, what's the last one? If it's Incineroar, it becomes Oh, it's Tapu Finny. Alright, that's fine. Because now we just dazzle and nuke the Finny with it the Dragon Ascent. Yeah, and we should get it with that combination. And then maybe we got enough in the tank to deal with the Groudon with our Mega Rayquaza. So let's see. Can we do it, boys and girls? Is this going to be enough to get the Finny? Oh, it's going to be very close, isn't it? It's going to be very close. Oh, come on, Rayquaza. <laughs> come on, Ray. Let's do this. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Get it. There's a chance we can still do this. Oh my gosh. Right. Where's this going? Fire punch into Zen. That makes a lot of sense. Now we've still got our sash intact. We go Swords Dance. Bush, bush, bush. And then the Almighty Dragon Ascent to seal this game up. And we should be able to pull ourselves out from the brink of destruction once again. Fire punch. I'll do decent damage, no burn. The burn is the worst thing here. No burn, okay, that's perfect. And a plus two Dragon Ascent from this range should be enough to take the Groudon down. I know Groudon's really bulky, so there's a part of me that's like, maybe it doesn't, but I'm hoping it does. Oh man. <laughs> oh, I honestly thought we jinked ourselves by going for that first saying that uh, our record were unbeaten at the minute and then coming up against this team and coming having such a hard start then coming back from it but uh, incredible game good game to my opponent and then we'll go straight into our next one. Oh, wow 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 so here we go uh, we don't want to save that even though well we're saving it anyway we, we're uploading this one aren't we so whew uh, let's hope we can kind of keep this momentum going. So we're up to 1600 already, which is quite nice. That's pretty quick for us. We're 6-0 at the minute, so we weren't 6-0, we were 5-0. Uh, let's go Necrozma version 2, because I'm feeling in the mood for it. Going up against a 1631 rated Japanese player, so we'll get straight into team. And we're going to see my opponent playing a team of... Ooh, looks very familiar to a team that I've built myself with Mega Mawile Rayquaza. So we've got Kyogre, Mega Ray, Mega Mawile, Bronzong, Gothitel, and that Incineroar. So, hmm. Tricky, tricky, tricky. How do we deal with this uh, best? Because the Gothitel does throw up issues with that Shadow Tag ability that it does have access to um, trapping in ourselves and making it very difficult for us to um, gain any sort of momentum here right um, we could utilize Serena here um, but Tapu Fini is very good we haven't got any access to like getting around the trick room like taunt or anything like that which makes it extremely difficult you know, the Bronzong and the Mawile make things 
very complicated for us to play around. I think we're probably better off going Tapu Fini Incineroar, trying to carve out some sort of position, uh, get through the, the, the trick room. Maybe this one's one for Landorus rather than Xerneas, and then we bring Rayquaza in the last slot um, to kind of yeah deal with this. Maybe this combination's better, like Landorus is actually quite good here, so we'll click in with these and go into it now. So good luck to my opponent. And let's get straight into this one. Oh man, that last game, that last game. It's uh, it's like you, you get those games and they just like absolutely drain you. I feel drained now, but like super hyped at the same time. So let's see where we can go with this one. Team Skull Shirt. I've always wanted one in real life, Team Skull Shirt. I always like, love Team Skull. Like they're probably my favorite bad guy team in the, the series. They are really cool. So we're going to see Kyogre, and we're going to see Mowile come out from my opponent here. Do get the Misty Terrain up, which is helpful, always. Um, and I think the thing that we've got here, actually, that's Scarf Kyogre. Every time, every time. You know, I say I'm looking out for it, and then they don't realize till it's it's not too late. Um, now, we can go for the fake out into the Kyogre, which I think we need to here, to be honest. Um, do we Icy Wind or Scald a more while? Because we can't burn it, but the damage onto it would be very useful going into the next turn. And then we can potentially Icy Wind. We've got an Intimidate onto it. Um, hmm. No, we'll go Scald into the Mawile, take advantage of the rain while we've got it up. And you know, just if we can do about 50% to it, we're not going to see it stay in. We're going to see Bronzong hit the field. I don't mind that either. I mean, just getting damage onto these Steel types is always something very useful for us to do. So we do get the Fake Out into the Kyogre. Uh, we'll get the Scald off, rain boosted into the Bronzong. Do we get a burn? We do. Excellent. That's really good for us. Makes life a lot easier for when... Oh, red card. Come on, get Rayquaza in. That's Landorus. Mm. I would have, I would have really. I mean, it's fine because we can protect Landorus this next turn. If they want to go Trick Room, then that's fine because we we've got a nice switch in from Incineroar into Finny now. Red cards an interesting item on the Bronzong. It's good, very good utility for um, something like uh, Xerneas. Bronzong is a great Pokemon to switch into a Dazzling Gleam or a Stray Moonblast after it's boosted up to throw it out. Uh, we'll protect Landorus here, obviously, with, we are threatened from this Scarfed Kyogre. We'll just switch Incineroar out to Finny, just because we've got the position in there. It's probably going to Water Spout. And knowing the Bronzong, it probably wants to try and get a Trick Room up to set this Mawile up for later. So if we can keep our Intimidate in the back to bring in on it, it makes things a lot easier for us than just cycling these Intimidates. Like I said in Team Preview, what we're going to have to do is get through at least one turn of Trick Room with a mod in the back where we can like then come in and try and, and cut through what's left there's a the water spout Finny will be able to take this like boss It'd just be interesting to see if my opponent does set up the trick room because it no, just going for the gyro ball it's into the Finny as well because of the burn though it's doing nothing which is useful for us um we're in a bit of a trickier spot now because Obviously, with this Golf Kyogre out on the field, it does make things a little bit more difficult. Um, and we kind of have to bring in Rayquaza, which I don't really want to want to be doing. Um, and I don't want Icy Wind. One of the things we could do is potentially Heal Pulse into the Landorus slot and bring Ray in. So whatever is done from the Water Spout, we can keep we can potentially heal off going into this, this next turn. So Ray's not in the worst of positions. Because we might see a Water Spout Jarrah Ball into the Landra slot, but I don't know. No, the Bronze I'm going to switch out. Mawile. 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 Come on out. Okay. As long as we can keep our Sash intact, uh, that's the main thing for Ray, because it's so important going into the late game. There's a Water Spout. It's not going to be boosted anymore, so... Yeah, we'll be able to keep that sash going. That good old Tapu Fini. Now we've got to we've got to start concentrating down on this this Rayquaza. 
But it's so even easy for my opponent to um, to switch it out now. Um, I think what we'll do is go for a Scald into the Mowal. And we will go for that Dragon Ascent into the Kyogre. Even if the, the Kyogre switches out here, it means we've got... Okay, Mowal actually switching out. That's interesting. Bronze on coming in, so we'll take another bit of Scald damage. Meaning that we'll probably be able to get rid of it by the next turn. Potentially. Potentially. Let's see. We get the horrible animation up with this Delta stream now. It's awful. It's terrible. Okay, another more spout. I wonder why you switch them all out there. Maybe because you want to have it on the field when you get the trick room up. You want to preserve it for later. It makes a lot of sense to do that. Um, we get the Dragon Ascent into Kyogre. So this will be able to either remove it or just do enough so it's not doing anything for the rest of this game. Um, we are intimidated, of course. But the water spout's now not doing anything. And then we've got the Scald into the Bronze on do a bit more damage to it now. Um, the Burn. Maybe a Scald and a Burn is enough to get the Bronze on. And I think that's one thing that we've got to try and, and um, focus down on here because the one thing we don't want to allow my opponent to do is set that... That trick room up and I, I do feel like even a minus two dragon ascent here and a scald is probably enough to get the bronze on at this point it's just denying the trick room that's the only thing that's what we've got to do because the more while comes in here yeah it makes a lot of sense and the bronze on tries for the trick room so we've just got to hope that the scald plus the dragon ascent is enough come on dragon ascent let's go ray let's go ray you can do this Ah, oh, easy. Easily enough. There we go. There's a big boy doing his thing. Skull going to be enough to get the bronze on. Deny that trick room. And that's the big thing for us here. Getting rid of that trick room option. Because without that, the Moal can't be as threatening as it probably wants to try and be. Right. Kyogre, are you going to enter the free once again? If you do, you're going to lock into... Um, you're going to have to lock into Ice Beam potentially. Or maybe Thunder to get rid of the Finny because it's been such a pain for you to deal with. Um, <clears throat> I think one of the things that I'm going to try and do here is... Um, so I don't really want to switch into Incineroar here, but I feel like I probably need to and, Tim and scold the... Scald them all while. If we can get a burn up when this Misty Terrain's not active now, that's I think that pretty much seals the game for us at this point. Depends what the Kyogre locks into as well, but I mean, if we can get Rayquaza back in, not intimidated, we should be able to get it with an extreme speed, or at least get it very close to, to that mark. But we'll keep Ray around for later on. Interesting to know what my opponent's last Pokemon is. I don't think they've revealed it yet. And I think you'd be more inclined to go Ice Beam with Kyogre here rather than a water type attack. But I could be I could be completely wrong. So we're gonna see the Moal Mega Evolve here. Um, we have got the Intimidate onto it with Incineroar, which is very, very useful. It does actually go for an origin pulse. Now Incineroar should take this. Oh, man. That's brutal. Brutal. Okay. Skull burn. Come on, Finny. You've been so on fire with these burns recently. Critical hit, no burn, but the Thunder Punch. That's an interesting one, for sure. Uh, it does take our Finny down. It's not the end of the world, though. It's not the end of the world. It's because Rayquaza can come back in. We get double Intimidate onto them all while we can just Earthquake Extreme Speed. Um, I've got to hope that the extreme speed is actually enough to get the, the Kyogre. That's the big thing for us here. Hmm. Because an Origin Pulse would still... It wouldn't be ideal for Ladarus. We could lose it. Um, which wouldn't be good. So we could... Hmm. But protecting Ladarus here... I'm going to just go. I'm going to have to go for it, I think, because protecting Landorus here leaves the Rayquaza open to a player off from the Mega Mowile. 
Um, and even though it's minus two, it's still going to be able to pick up the knockout. So I have to just got Earthquake, Extreme Speed. The Kyogre's faster than everything. Kyogre actually switches out. You're a madman. I'm going to see Rayquaza hit the fray. Okay. Now we will be able to get the Mawile with this Earthquake. It might go Sucker Punch. But if it does go Sucker Punch into the... Yeah. Oh, it goes into the Landorus. That's interesting. But we are a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit tough now because uh, we're kind of forced to go for the Extreme Speed into that Kyogre slot. Which leaves our Rayquaza open. Uh, to take damage. But the Rayquaza on my opponent's side of the field cannot Mega Evolve. So... That's the one thing that we need to make note of because the Mowile's Mega Evolve, so it cannot Mega Evolve. So we should be able to get it with a Dragon Ascent and just protect. Uh, uh, the only thing is if the Kyogre does lock into Ice Beam because it makes sense to lock into Ice Beam now. It really does. Um, it might be better going for the Extreme Speed hoping that we get the Kyogre like we originally planned which I think we need to do and then rock slide because that airlock's taken away the ability for yeah I think we need to do this because the airlock takes away the the delta stream so we're not immune to those ice type attacks so we need to get the Kyogre really with an extreme speed which we do come on Ray you're the, you're the best Ray in the world you see another extreme speed but get the rock slide it should be super effective. It's not doing as much as I would have thought of what it's going to do. But we can just extreme speed now and Ray will be able to beat little old non-Mega Ray. And uh, we are going to be able to continue on this winning streak, which is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So, huh, there's a forfeit. Good game to my opponent. And I will just say that uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. It's been so much fun playing this team so far this week and we're only halfway through so we've got a couple of more episodes before we finish up on Friday so I hope you enjoy the rest of them as you go forward. It's uh, It's been a pleasure guys. Leave your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the team, the games today especially and uh, if there's any any particular changes you would like to see us making going into next week finally with this team because I would love to hear what your opinions are on this call and what you'd like to see with it now I have a really mad wild wacky XY um, not XY X-ray build like it's madness so we could feature that next week which I'm thinking about doing it would be a lot of fun so we could do that or we could pick up on some of your ideas as well so do leave your comments down below let me know have a great day morning afternoon night whatever time of day it is wherever you are guys and i will see you all for the next one thank you so much for tuning in and until then take care bye bye